Today we are giving Zella, the Great Pyrenees, a much needed makeover. Okay, Zella. I'm gonna get a bath. You are in far better shape than your sister was. So Zella's sister is Zen, for those of you who already saw her video. She had a pretty insane transformation. She was extremely dirty, covered in ticks, very compacted. Now Zella here is definitely gonna blow coat. We'll see if she has ticks as well. Her nails are also very long, but she is not nearly as dirty as Zen. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. The experiences that I have had with Great Pyrenees have all been wonderful, except for maybe one that I groomed. They just seem to be really chill, sweet dogs. Right? Good girl. Good girl, Zella. You're really pulling on that leash. You don't have to. The owner is actually away and his dogs are at a boarding kennel and the boarding kennel asked me if I would be willing to groom these two dogs while he's away. He is aware and he did give permission for me to groom and film them, but it'll be interesting to see his reaction when he comes to pick them up because they will be very clean and beautiful. So the boarding kennel actually dropped them off for the owner, which is really nice. Your dirtiest spot seems to be underneath your chin here. Why are you pulling so much? You don't have to pull. You don't need to choke yourself. Okay, okay. Good girl. It's okay, Zella. I see a lot of comments from people um, specifically groomers asking me why I use this setup to bathe my big dogs because I have to do a lot of bending and stuff like that. I find using the walk-in shower to be easier than using my bathtub because when I'm grooming a dog of this size, if they go to sit in the bathtub, I am very short. So it's hard for me to lean over the tub and then lift the dog up. Um, to prevent them from sitting. I will be using my back entirely to try and do that. Where if I'm in the shower, sometimes I can still bathe them if they're sitting. And if I do have to force them to stand, I can use my legs to lift as opposed to using my back. So me personally, I just find that my shower is easier to work with large dogs like this as opposed to using my bathtub. Ideally, if this shower was designed to be open so I didn't have to be cornered in the shower with a large unknown dog. It would have been best, but I didn't have the ability to do that in my current shop because I just don't have the space for it, which is the reason why I built the shower like this. But if I were to build another shop, which I hope to do one day, I definitely have some different designs in mind that would be better for working with large dogs in a small area. Are you gonna have ticks on you like your sister? I guess we'll find out when we blow dry you. I'm gonna give you another shampoo because this one won't be enough. I'm gonna rinse her down and then I'm going to give her another shampoo in some whitening shampoo. Okay, you're fine. I get a lot of comments from people in regards to me grooming for free. And I just wanted to point something out. The reason why I mention it in a lot of my videos is because not everybody sees every video. So not everybody knows that I groom for free. And the reason why it's important that people do know that I groom for free is because of a couple of reasons. The first reason being people that can't afford grooming um, or 
simply don't want to pay for it. A lot of their animals are neglected and being able to provide my grooms for free means that those people will get their pets groomed, which is obviously beneficial to the animal. So that's the reason why I mention it a lot so that people maybe that didn't know that might refer a friend that whose dog or cat maybe should desperately be groomed and maybe they will actually do it because they know they don't have to pay for it. That's the first reason. And the second reason why I mention it so much is because I want the viewer to know that their views are going towards something that's important. So by watching my content, I'm able to groom dogs for free. And I just think that that's really incredible that as a community, we're able to do that. It's not something I ever thought in a million years I would ever be able to do. And I am really proud of it and really happy for the amount of pets that otherwise may have gone without care. So in case you're wondering why it's mentioned so much, that's why it's mentioned so much. It's not me bragging, hey, look at me, I get to groom for free. It has really nothing to do with bragging at all. But yeah, I see a lot of your negative comments about it and it just really makes me sad because I thought I was doing something great for the animals and then it gets turned into something else, which is just stupid in my opinion, but yeah. Like you, right? You're getting a nice free groom. Maybe you wouldn't have if it wasn't free. So now you get to be clean, it's okay. Even though it's quite early to mention this, I do want to mention it because I'm really excited about it and it's going to be really difficult for me to keep this a secret for a really long time. So in July, we're not 100% sure on the date yet, but I will be throwing a huge fundraiser for a local dog rescue and it's going to be a really large event that is family friendly that's going to have a lot of fun activities i will give you guys a little insight that we are probably going to have a dog fashion show and different types of contests like that so oh i just got purple shampoo all over me great so if you guys are interested in meeting me or meeting my pets because my dogs will be there or simply supporting the cause and having a really fun time, plan a trip out to Niagara Falls in July. I will give you guys more information about that as it comes, but I am super excited to raise money for this well-deserved dog rescue that is close to where I live. And yeah, I'm just really excited to give back and have a lot of fun at this event. It's going to be kid-friendly. I know that kids are gonna have an awesome time at this event and it'll just be a lot of fun. So if you guys wanna come out, Stay tuned watching my content for more information. I'm gonna use this whole bottle of purple of shampoo on you. Why you gotta keep turning? Hmm? Okay. I'm gonna let that sit while I do the face. Okay, normally I would rinse the face first, but I don't want to rinse off any of the purple shampoo yet. So I've just diluted the tearless and I'm going to pour that on and scrub it in. Hey, stay there. Let's get your head in the shower so we can try to prevent water from going everywhere. Nope, nope. Good girl. Altogether, the bath took 50 minutes. She got three shampoos, one in Nasty Critter Deep Cleaning, another in Fluff Off De Shedding, and a third in Purple Shampoo, and then she got a conditioner in Fluff Off Conditioner. Right? Now we do, I'm gonna have to do a first towel dry with a towel, then I'll use the absorber, and then it's off to the blow dryer. 
you are going to blow a lot of coat. A little good brush. Oh yeah, you are definitely going to blow coat. Now she stood the entire time that she was in the bathtub, so I'm going to let her sit for a bit. It's going to be difficult to dry her with her sitting, but I will eventually have her stand with the belly band, but I'm going to give her a bit of a break and let her sit because I do think that she's tired. i got to be prepared to find ticks on you. Hopefully none of them fly off onto me. That would be great. Yeah, I can see some spots where she has scabbing from ticks that have already been pulled off. just giving her a little bit of a break before we blow dry the other side just because it does get warm in here I'm gonna open up the window get some cold air and offer her some water I don't really want to take her off the table to give her a break just because it, I had a little bit of trouble getting her on the table and once she knows what the table means she might choose not to get on it and because she is so large it would be kind of hard for me to lift her onto it Dogs hold a lot of heat around their ears as well, so I'm gonna take this off, give her a bit of a breather. I'm gonna give her about a 10 minute break. Window is open, she'll get all cooled down, and then I will start drying this side. I think I found a tick. Got to use the dryer to find it.
In total, she took me an hour and 10 minutes to dry. So I'm gonna let her off the table now. I'm gonna give her a break. I'm gonna clean up the shop a little bit. Then I'm gonna try to put her back on the table to brush her out. If she doesn't wanna go back on the table, I will let her lay on the ground and I will finish her on the ground. Okay, girl. I'm gonna do some brushing. I know you've just about had enough of me. Her head and face is still a little bit wet. She really didn't like the dryer, no matter what dryer I used on her head and face. So we're just not going to finish blow drying it. It's pretty dry. It's just a little bit damp on her ears. Right, she has mats behind her ears, which I need to shave out. Oh, you have a lot more matting than I noticed when I was blow drying you. What the heck? Okay, can we try to stand? Come on, stand up, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Come on, girl, we gotta stand. Okay, thank you, good girl. This side is brushed out. Hopefully she lets me clip these nails. Do claws. I know it'll be easier for her if I do this without lifting her paws. So while this paw is in a position to be shaved without lifting, that's what I'm gonna do. See this one? Good girl. It's okay. This side is done. Let's turn and do your other side, okay? Just matting again. That's really the only matting this dog has had on her whole body is just behind the ears, which is really good for a dog that who knows when the last time this dog got groomed or if this dog has ever been groomed. I'm not sure. When you see me holding the ear like this when I'm brushing, it's not me pulling on the ear. The reason why I hold the ear is because if I don't, I run the risk of grabbing it when I'm brushing and sometimes that can be really uncomfortable for the dog. So I just like to hold it out of the way while I brush. Look how pretty you look. You're gonna go outside and run around in the snow. You're gonna look really cute out there in all the snow. She has some fluffy hair on her paws. I think I'm just gonna tidy up a little bit. She doesn't really have Grinch feet like the average fluffy dog. So in total, she took me two hours and 45 minutes to groom. 
I'm gonna let her outside to play in the snow. I'm sure she's gonna look really pretty with her fresh, clean white coat running around in our fresh snowfall. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again in a few days.